This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their products as well as the rest of my gear in the description below. Hey guys, Jimmy here and welcome back to Assetto Corsa for another video. Today we are back at the Nordschleife for a lap in a different kind of car. Can we call it a car? I have no idea what we call this. What you're seeing in front of you now is a lawnmower, but not just any lawnmower. It's a lawnmower with a 1000cc motorbike engine. <laughs> This 1000cc motorbike engine gives it about 100 brake horsepower, which makes it quite fun and quite interesting to drive. This thing is actually based on a lawnmower that was put together in real life by Team Dynamics, who are a uh, BTCC team, and actually holds the record for being the fastest lawnmower in the world. I think it clocked in somewhere at around 116 miles an hour, which is frankly quite terrifying. This thing has a six speed sequential gearbox, meaning that I have to sort of blip on the downshifts and lift on the upshift to avoid the, uh, I keep going to call it a car, but to avoid the lawnmower moving around too much in braking and on acceleration. I have no idea how this is going to go, but I think we're gonna have a lot of fun doing it. So guys, let's go see how fast the fastest lawnmower ever made can lap the Nordschleife. <laughs> Well, here we are then, perched atop our lawnmower. You can see sort of in the squatting position at the moment. We sit very high on this thing. I think this is the highest we've sat so far when doing one of these apps, of course, with the exception of the transit once upon a time. A couple of things that I didn't know in the introduction because I was too busy laughing is although it looks like we're on slick tires, we aren't. This is still a work in progress, this mod, so we've got no gauges and the tire texts aren't there. This thing ran uh, sort of all weather tyres uh, when it did its test, which is what I assume it is modelled on in, uh, in sim as well. And its power to weight ratio, I didn't mention this, but I don't know why, because it's, it's hilarious. This has a power to weight ratio of 560 horsepower per tonne. So that's up there with a lot of the supercars. So this is essentially a supercar, but not really, it's a lawnmower. But anyway, you guys are here to see how this thing goes around the north side. I'm going to do my best at doing it because this thing is damn Larry. So revs up, pull back our sequential gearbox, and away we go. Big wheel spin at the start. Second and third and fourth gear. Very quick gearbox on this thing. And already you can see how much this thing dances around. I'm probably going to refer to it as a car to start of habit, but it is, of course, a lawnmower. Watch out for the curbs on this thing because it doesn't like it, very low to the ground of course. Come nice and close to the other barrier there and let's start our flying lap then at the Nordschleife in our lawnmower. <laughs> Breaking for T1, this, this car, and I'll keep saying it, moves around a hell of a lot, no downforce at all. All the grip is pretty much the tires. So we have to really be careful with it. Big understeer through hats and back, but still trying to just go up through the gears you see sequential, so I'm blipping on the way down to make sure the rear end doesn't lock. First of all, this thing understeers and then it just slides for days. It is not built for this sort of thing. The real life Team Dynamics version of this was built to do one thing and one thing only, and that was go fast in a straight line, which I guess in that regard is quite similar to the Gen 6 car. I wonder how this thing will, uh, will go up against the Gen 6, but anyway now, Coming up to the flu plus, we have to lift over here because the front end actually comes up. There it is, lift, and now aim for the inside curb. We're not, we're gonna drift out wide, so we have to. <laughs> it just sideways at every corner, it's fantastic. Through here now, I'm pretty sure we're in top. Yeah, we're in top, so we're in sixth gear now. This is where we start suffering a little bit. This thing has a top speed of about, well, about 220 k's or so. I think actually a bit slower than that. So you do struggle on the straights a bit, but you make up a lot of time in the corner, well, I say in the corners on acceleration. Coming to the end of the first set, so now get nice and tight to this curb on the inside, just nibble it. Maybe give it a trim, you know? <laughs> trim the curb on the inside. And now downhill, just try and keep it straight through here. The thing is always trying to move around. Every possible bump it gets to, it wants to move. Through the compression now, uh, this is so ludicrous, I can't believe I'm doing this video. <laughs> this used to be a serious sim racing channel, once upon a time. Third gear through here, then breaking a straight line, 
coming to the curb, back end trying to come round, can't let it low. And now soften the throttle out of there and up through the gears again. So important to use all that RPM. This being a bike engine, of course, very revvy indeed. Reminds me a little bit of driving a Radical, but of course that thing has some sort of cornering grip and it's actually made to go around circuits as opposed to mow your, mow your lawn. Just trying to be very careful over here. The weight transfer through here can really kill you. Nice and tight. It might look like I'm being a little bit... <laughs> it's looking down and just seeing what I'm been driving again. It might look like I'm being quite cautious, and that's because I am. Anyone who's driven this mod will know that it is Larry, to say the least. When you have something that has a power to weight of over 560 brake horsepower per tonne, you can expect it to be Larry. Coming down the hill now. Oh, wow, okay, forgot to blip there. Had a little bit of a sideways moment, but just about kept it in one piece. And now you can see the crowds there who have gathered to see this lawnmower lap. Very, you know, that's pretty much what I expect here. Although in reality, they're probably thinking, why the hell did I spend 30 pounds to have my entrance <laughs> to come in to watch a goddamn lawnmower go around? <laughs> you guys have been debated. Oh, right up to the curb now. It's a lot of fun driving this thing though. We used to drive this thing back on the, uh, our set of course of streams we used to do. And that, that was a lot of fun. It provides a lot of crashes as well. Oh, really not quite sure what the front end's gonna do. Again, on power oversteer, though, you don't lose too much time doing that because you're gonna be drifting anyway. Drifting this thing is the way to go faster than it. Up into top, up into sixth gear. And now we just wait, basically. Uh, just try and take the line of least resistance. What I would love uh, Gary to do, and Gary's a fella who made this mod, is to uh, turn the blaze underneath the car into a fan car. How rad would that be? <laughs> Lawnmower fan car. The fastest thing ever to that Renault Cypher. After the X2010, of course, right. Down one gear, bring it to the inside. You have to do everything very early and just sort of predict how the, uh, how the car, how the lawnmower is gonna move through the corners. And usually it's sideways. Ah, just off talk there. And now, Go down quite a few gears. I think we're, oh, that's first gear, I think. Too far. Come on, come on, come on. You can see just how much steering work has to go into it. And usually I'm quite hectic on the wheel anyway, but with this, it's compounded, it feels like. Through the carousel, we can't take the carousel on this. Shame there's no grass here, so we can kill two birds with one stone, but quite bumpy going through there, as you probably imagine. Now, uphill here, you have to thread the needle between these curbs. If you touch any one of these curbs, you were going off into the grass. And maybe that's what the lawnmower wants. Maybe it wants to go home. But I'm trying not to do that. Ah, oh, there it is. And now bring it in. Oh, that's about as close as you can get. Still getting a little bit of oversteer there. Now this section is a lot of fun in the lawnmower. Maybe fun's the wrong word. Challenging, interesting. Now fun is the right word. Bring it in. And we can use a little bit of this curb here because it's flat. Only just so you see how the uh, the mower just skips over the curbs. Hardly any travel in whatever suspension we have on this. Trying to get the car, car, stop calling it a car. Trying to get it to rotate so I can turn. You see that big kick of oversteer there on throttle. Oh, and again, now YouTube corner. Very late apex. There it is on the throttle. Try and use the road, but the thing is, this thing wants to oversteer at all times. It's so weird being this high up, but I can see so much. I feel like I'm on a throne or something. Had to get off the throttle over that curve, and then we would have spun. It's one of the better laps I've done around here so far, which sort of lets you know just how challenging this thing is. Oh, that's wide. That's wide. My sleeve's coming down to my right arm. I'm having to wrestle this thing so much. Come on, be brave! Oh god, over the crest is scary. In VR, I also feel like I'm going to get flung off this thing at any moment. So my body's still preparing to die <laughs> at the moment. Which is, uh, I guess, cool. That's what I wanted from my video games, is to get ready to make peace with death. I can see so much more, though, from this thing. You're just looking around the circuit, you can see all the detail gone into the circuit, because you're, you're sitting so much higher. Right, second carousel. Down one more gear, I think. I'm going to go actually underneath the carousel there, because we can, because we're so tiny. 
Unleash the power going up the hill. I wonder what sort of time it's going to be. I actually have properly no idea. If we can get underneath eight minutes, I'll be impressed. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Come on. Sideways, sideways. And now unleash the 110 horsepower as we go down the straight. Already in sixth gear. Going to just double check we are. Yeah. And now get ready for the longest lawnmower re you ever did here. Just a matter of sitting and waiting now, thinking about all the lawns I'm going to mow when I get back to the pits. Going to come over to the right side of the circuit so we can get the uh, shallowest angle coming through this left-hander. Breaking down the bottom here for the end of the circuit is damn challenging. Very bumpy down there. As you probably understood through the rest of this lap, this thing does not enjoy bumps. Anyway, here we go then. Down the hill. Sitting at 210 k's or so. We through here and now start breaking down. A bit more throttle there, a bit early on the brakes just to be safe. Nice and neat and tidy through there, sideways. One last corner then. Oh, sideways on the throttle then. As it's across the line in our lawnmower and eight minutes 12, not a bad lap time from a literal lawnmower with a bike engine attached to it. But as I suspected, we're quite a way off anything else that's gone around here so far, but that was a blast. <laughs> this thing is so fun to drive. It is incredibly difficult. If you're not someone who's used to oversteer and managing oversteer, then this thing is definitely not for you. I mean, you get to a certain point with the oversteer and there is no coming back, but after you've driven it a while, I think you can get the hang of it. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this ludicrous lap, please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time.